Hey, are you going to the Abbey? Well, if you're heading to the Abbey, you should keep your ears open. Their music is famous all over the world. I can hear them sometimes, when the wind is right. Times like that, I don't mind I'm not catching any striped worms. I can see her dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. Thanks. Like Thanks, Sarah Domin. You must be the adventurer the abbess prayed for. She took my hand and danced with me. And we kept dancing once the music went away. Our abbess prayed for an adventurer to come and help us. She asked me to stand here and wait for you to arrive. Will you help us, adventurer? On the mountain and the snowflakes in her hair. Her beauty makes me want to shout. Sarah, don't even be praised. The abbess's office is just inside the wall. Go in through the gate and head north. Now she's talking to a preacher. He's a Adventurer, thank Sarah Domin you've come. I've called you here for a sensitive task, one that I would prefer to deal with quietly, without involving the church authorities or the al Qarid guard. I hope I can trust you to be discreet. One of our sisters has been murdered. Murdered quite brutally. I would like you to investigate. The killer may still be in the Abbey. I last saw Sister Anna at Vespers yesterday. When she wasn't present at Compline, I went to her cell and found her body. The murder must have taken place between those times. This is the key to Sister Anna's cell, where I found her body. The cells are in the southeast corner of the abbey. I moved Sister Anna's body to the infirmary in the southwest of the abbey. I cleaned and wrapped it myself, and I've forbidden the other sisters from seeing it. You should also question the sisters around the abbey, but please do so subtly. I don't want them to know there has been a murder. This notebook will help you keep track of your investigation. Come back to me when you've examined the crime scene and the body, and spoken to the sisters.
What is it? She's with Sarah Dolmin now. It doesn't matter what I thought of her, and it does no good to speak ill of the dead. I didn't say that, but she did cause conflict. Most of the sisters didn't see it, but I did. She was always arguing with the abbess. Sister Anna thought Sister Benita was too lenient with the order's rules. Anna would have enforced silence outside of services. She'd have stopped Sister Cecilia composing, prescribed melodies only. Maybe it's Sarah Dolman's will that Sister Anna never got to become abbess. I don't know. It's not my place to say. I was here in the kitchen. Why? Where should I have been? I went down to the cellar to get some supplies at one point, but the rest of the time I was here. Actually, I noticed something when I was down there. I think someone's been stealing food from the cellar. I bet it was Katerina. Novices have to be taught discipline. I've seen her sneaking an extra cup of wine at meal times. She's the one you should be talking to. Look at me! Look at me! Okay, that's good. Remember to look at me so you can keep in time. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't... Uh... Ladies, keep rehearsing while I talk to this pilgrim. It's a hymn to St. Elspeth. I wrote the music, but the words are traditional. Do you know the story of St. Elspeth and the Ripper? St. Elspeth was a holy warrior who lived during the God Wars. She sang and played the cithara, and her music was so holy that no demon could bear to hear it. Oh, it's an ancient stringed instrument. It's like a lyre. The lyre was a folk instrument, whereas the cithara was a professional instrument. Well, anyway, that's not important. The ripper was an assassin demon. It would strike without warning and leave its victims horribly mutilated, stab them through the heart with terrible claws, tear off their faces. Zamorak sent the Ripper to attack a village where St. Elspeth was staying. It couldn't approach while she was singing, but it waited on the edge of the village. She sang for days, but eventually was too weak to go on. She went out of the village to face the demon alone. She thought it might just kill her and spare the villagers. She fought the demon, and it mortally wounded her. But as she was dying, Saradomen granted her the strength to sing one piercing note, so perfect that it struck the demon dead. Her remains lay unburied until the present age. Then, 70 years ago, a group of holy women found them and built this abbey in her memory. That's why music is such an important part of our worship. I don't know. They say some demons can return after being killed, but the God Wars were thousands of years ago. I stayed in here after Vespers to rehearse the choir. She's 
she had a powerful voice and a rock-solid sense of rhythm. The whole congregation could listen to her to keep in time. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, she's dead, and all I can think of is how much the choir needed her. I'm too single-minded sometimes. I think she kept us in time in more ways than one, though. She was our moral center, an example of holiness. We all miss her terribly. Hello again, adventurer. How can I help? I was in the scriptorium, copying a manuscript. I'm still learning how to illuminate the text. I've copied nearly the whole of the Book of Saradomin. I'm quite... well, I know I shouldn't be, but I'm quite proud of it. Perhaps you'd like to see it, after the funeral service, if, if you're still here. All right. I'll have to check if that's allowed, though. Come back and speak to me after the funeral. She was so holy. She thought about Sarah Doman all the time, never about herself. I don't know if I'll ever be as holy as that. She interviewed me when I applied to join the Abbey. It, it was like she could see right into my heart. To be honest, at first, she frightened me. I'm not surprised the other applicant left after she met her. Oh, another applicant came to the Abbey the other day. Her name was Isabella. She disappeared yesterday noon. She probably went home. A lot of applicants realize the life isn't for them and leave. Adventurer, if I can ask, why are you asking these questions? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have asked. I'll never be a full sister if I keep asking questions like that. Sister Anna always told me I shouldn't ask questions. Is there anything else I can do for you, adventurer? Katerina, is that you? It's no good, Katerina. I can't hear you. I'll be out of here in a minute. Just need to get the... Um... Could you do me a favor, Katerina? The clock is 20 minutes fast right now. Could you set it to the right time? That's it. Ah, you set the clock to the hour, so any moment now it should... Right, I'm done. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I thought you were Sister Katerina. She's normally the one who comes up here. What can I... What can I do for you? Between what and what? Uh, 
Oh, I came back up here, tried to finish this set of repairs. I was a clockmaker before I joined the Abbey. Now I'm the only one who knows how to repair the Abbey clock. A part breaks that you'd expect it to hold for years, but that doesn't stop the whole mechanism. It just sets it in a different direction. Sarah Domin is a better clockmaker than us. Sister Benita was planning to retire as abbess next year. Everyone expected Sister Anna to become the new abbess. But it seems that wasn't Sarah Domin's plan, so he's taken her away. The clock runs, just not as we'd expected. Can see her dancing barefoot Greetings, traveler. In her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums. Ah, and it's a song me. about someone I knew a long time ago. Oh, she's dancing in the stillness too. I was. I knew her before she joined the Abbey. I tried to talk her out of coming here, but when she made her mind up about something, there was nothing that could stop her. One of the sisters here, Sister Anna, she passed away recently. I knew her before she joined the Abbey, so I've come to pay my respects. I have my ear to the ground. Even a religious order isn't completely cut off from the world. All yesterday evening I was in Al Qarid. I didn't travel up here until this morning. Why are you asking all this anyway? What's going on here? To Zamrak with you. The abbess can order her sisters not to be curious, but not me. Anna was my friend, and I have a right to know what's happening. This conversation is over. I can see her dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. Please help us, adventurer. You'll need to examine Sister Anna's body, search her cell, and question the sisters in the Abbey. Whom do you suspect? Did you hear that? Quick! Follow the sound of that scream!
You've got to protect us! The demon is back! What's happening here? Oh, great Sarah Domin! Sister Eleanor! I saw it, Abbas! It was the demon! It was the Ripper! Sister Cecilia, go back to the oratory. Get yourself cleaned up. Adventurer, there's no point in my trying to keep this from the sisters anymore. I'll let them know what's happening. Please, Adventurer. Investigate Sister Eleanor's murder, then talk to me in my study. Adventurer, thanks Sarah Domin, you're still here. Please tell me you're making some progress. Greetings, traveler. I don't know what you're talking about. Why are you asking this? Eleanor is dead? Oh, Eleanor. She wasn't happy. She could have been so much more if she had the courage to leave. I met her when she came down to al Qarid to buy supplies. We started writing to one another, hiding letters with boxes of food. I came up to see her last night. There was a hole in the kitchen wall that she used to smuggle me in. That's how I learned that Anna had died. Elena told me. I wanted to publicly pay my respects, so I snuck back to al Qarid and came here with my band. Adventurer, you don't think Eleanor could have been killed because of me? 
of the victims were people I knew. Could someone have found the letters and... If there's anything I can do to help bring this killer to justice, let me know. I can see her dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. Adventurer, thanks Sarah Domin, you're still here. Please tell me you're making some progress. You're doing a good job, but I have a feeling there's some information you haven't found yet. We're all going to die. It's going to kill us all. There's no escape. I... I heard the scream. I heard Sister Eleanor screaming. So I went down the stairs to see and... And it was there! The river! Just like in the stories. It was wrapped in rags and it had its huge claws and... It was bending over Sister Eleanor. It was cutting her feet with its claws. Why would it do that? Then it saw me. It turned its head. It looked at me. I couldn't see its face. Thanks, Sarah Domin. If I'd seen its face, I think I might have died of fright. It pushed past me. It splashed Sister Elena's blood onto my robes. And then it ran up the stairs and away. We can't let it defeat us. Almighty Sarah Domin, give me the strength to, to not... Be afraid! All right, ladies. The abbess told you what happened. This funeral service will be for two of us now. We're going to trust Sarah Domin, and we're not going to be afraid. We're going to sing like Saint Elspeth, and the demon isn't going to be able to hurt us. Okay, from the top, look at me. Adventurer, thank... Whom do you suspect? I suppose it's possible. I want to be absolutely sure before we move, though. Whoever the killer is, I'm worried that they'll strike again. I want to make sure that all the sisters are safe in the Abbey. Sister Katerina is outside dancing. I don't want to pass judgment on her, not now. But I think she'd be safer inside. Could you go and fetch her, please? Dance with me, adventurer! Can you dance with me first? Go 
dance with me, adventurer. There's no need to be like that. I'm just dancing. Dance with me, adventurer. Oh, all right. See you later, adventurer. Dance with me, adventurer. All right. I should finish copying my book of Saradomin. I'll be in the scriptorium if you want to talk to me. It's no good. She's dead. It pierced her heart. Good night, sweet thing. You could have been a dancer. What was that sound, adventurer? Oh, merciful Saradomin. Sister Katarina, is she... I'm afraid so. This must end. Adventurer, Troubadour, please meet me in my office. We need a plan. The killer is going to strike again, unless we catch them. I'm not a member of your order, Abbas. I don't know why you would trust me here. All the sisters of my order are suspects. The two of you are the only people I have seen in the same place as the killer. So you are the only people I can trust. I will not let this defeat us. We must arrive at a plan. Adventurer, after all you've seen, whom do you now suspect? Then we will need to catch the killer without knowing who they are. What can we do? That could work, but how would we bait it? That could tempt the killer out, but who? I don't think the killer is indiscriminate. What do the victims so far have in common? I know about your involvement with Sister Eleanor, and perhaps the killer could have seen Sister Katerina dancing and thought that. But what about Sister Anna? She hadn't left the Abbey for years. Ah, you do not know. I knew Anna many years ago. She was a dancing girl, part of the troupe that I joined when I was first a troubadour. Back then, she was so full of life, passionate. Everything she did, she threw her whole body and soul into it. Then, when we met that traveling creature and she caught religion, she threw her whole body and soul into that as well. We wrote to one another at first and... She never mentioned you to me. All she would say was that her past life was sinful, and she wanted to put it behind her. Yes, that was the impression I got from her last letters. 
when I met Eleanor in Al-Karid and started seeing her, we had to keep our affair secret, so I couldn't see Anna. I wanted to. A part of me was always hoping she'd discover us. Enough! We don't need to go through the sordid details. We've established a connection. But how does it help us? I have a dancing girl travelling with me. If we were to announce that she was joining the Abbey... I can't allow her to be put in danger. There must be another way. She will be in no danger. She will be hiding in my camp. We can make a dummy, dress it in your robes, and our adventurer can hide nearby and wait. Hmm, but I'm not sure where. In the basement. During the funeral service, all the sisters will be in the oratory. It will be the perfect time for the killer to strike. It seems we have a plan. Valerio, you and I can handle the announcement. Adventurer, you will need to make the dummy in the basement. Once you're ready, you can hide in the robe cabinet and wait. Whether this killer be demon or mortal, I swear they will not kill again. Saradomin, go with all of us. Barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. Dancing barefoot, there are flowers in her hair. I remember like I saw it yesterday. To the sound of flutes and drums, she took my hand and danced with me. And we kept dancing once the music went away. in the stillness to the beat of unseen drums and she's dancing in the city and the crowd 
And she's dancing on the mountain And there's no fix in her hair And her beauty Stay back! Me want Make any move and I'll kill her! Spirit of St. Elspeth, Sarah Domin's voice of justice. It's Sister Anna. She's gone mad. Now she is talking to a preacher. He says dancing is a sin. And now Sister I'm Anna is dead. I am the spirit of St. Elspeth. And now we're standing she killed the, the applicant and, and dressed her in her robes. Wise, but I know she'll be. They were all dancers! They weren't worthy to be in this abbey. Saint Elspeth commanded me to remove them. Now she is dancing in the sunset. I can see her in the clouds. I can see her in the sky as doctors fall. And once nights come to both of us, I hope we'll meet again. And I'll take her hand and dance with her once more. Stay back! Make any move and I'll kill her! I can see her dancing. Good thinking, adventurer. As a good Saradominus sister, I cannot take a life. I'll see you downstairs, adventurer. Sister Deborah, she did nothing wrong. I have not been the voice of St. Elspeth. I have been the hand of the Ripper. Please, adventurer, if you have any mercy. Give me a moment to pray for forgiveness before I die. Thanks, Sarah Domin. It's over, adventurer. Sister Deborah told me what you did, but she didn't say who the killer was. She said you should be the one to tell us. Who was it? Who killed Anna and the others? What? No, it can't be. But why? That my most trusted friend could do this, and I had no idea. Thank you for telling the truth, adventurer, but this will shake the faith of everyone in the Abbey. I can't remain as abbess, knowing that this evil could sprout in soil that I have tended. I'll look for a replacement, but I don't know how much longer the Order will survive. I cannot offer you much of a reward, adventurer. But please accept a set of the Order's robes. They are enchanted. Wearing them will allow you to meditate on music in order to grow closer to Saradomen. <laughs>